Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Radhika. So in today's video, we'll learn about fractures. We'll first see the definition of fracture. Then we'll go for uh, causes of fractures, how fractures are occurring. Then we'll see the symptoms, what you can feel when you have a fracture in your bone. Then we can go for prevention and treatment protocols, diagnosis process and all. So first we'll see what are fractures. If I take this as a normal bone, which doesn't have any cracks, it is in, uh, placed in a normal alignment. So this is a normal bone. If I go for crack, if I am having a crack in this, then this is a fracture, a broken bone. Simply a broken bone is a fracture. Fractures may occur at your uh, joints as well as normal alignment of bone, a single bone. And uh, then coming to your causes of fractures are, uh, fractures occur main, uh, due to many reasons like uh, when you have roadside accidents, fracture occur. When you lift heavy weights which are not like, then fractures occur. If you fall from a height, then fracture occurs. If you slip, then fractures occur. If you don't have a good calcium, a good amount of calcium in your bone, then your bone is weak. And fractures also occurs due to pathological conditions such as osteoporosis, cancers. Then coming to the symptoms of your fractures, like what kind of feeling you have when you have fractures. You have intense pain, which is very severe at the injury area. If I take my humerus, my arm bone, then if I have a fracture over here, then I can't bear the pain. You have an intense pain over there then you feel a swelling inflammation over there because the blood supply is rich in amount then you have a redness because of your blood supply warmed your blood supply then you can't uh, like move your arm you can't go for the movement normal movements which you can do okay if i am if i am having a fracture at my humerus this arm bone then i can't lift my hand i can't lift my forearm and this because this is supporting my whole thing whole hand okay now you see a deformity like if i'm going if i have a fracture at my wrist joint i'll have a deformity like this or like this like i can't go for a normal movement when i am uh, having a fracture at my wrist joint okay then uh, coming to the types of fractures you have two types of fractures that is one is open and the other is closed in open type of fracture you can see the bone through your skin so the bone is going throughout your skin whereas in closed you just see that there is a fracture inside by x-rays you can find out that there is a fracture but in open you can see by your naked eyes it is visible and bleeding occurs and the fractures are at uh, larger bones like if you take a femur your thigh bone then the sufferer may have pale skin he may feel sickness nausea and may, he may go for dizziness okay and coming to diagnosis part of your fractures then uh, your doctor may ask for first first foremost thing he, can, he go for x-rays where he can see the close type of fractures and uh, like if he is having doubt like he, your radial nerve ulnar or some kind of other tissues are injured then he can ask for a CT scan or MRI and the, the coming to the type of fractures then after you know having x-rays you can know what type of fracture you have uh, like you have you can have transverse which is like a transverse line of fracture in between the bone then oblique which is in a oblique way oblique angle then spiral which is in a circular way and segmental where your discontinuity of bone occurs it will break into pieces and you have avulsion kind of fractures also in this uh, your bone is separated from other structures like muscles they are broken muscles ligaments whatever other joints and uh, now coming to the treatment first uh, if you have closed closed type of fracture it means the bone is broken inside your body it is not going through your out your skin okay so in this type of closed type of fractures your doctor suggest you for pop then he go for cast that pop cast and uh, he can ask you for not going any mobilization of your arm leg or wherever the fracture is occurring according to that he'll go for pop cast and according to the type of fracture then if you have complex type of fracture like a open one where bleeding occurs your bone has you know gone through your skin then you have to go for surgeries like depending upon the type of bone and area of fracture surgeries may take place uh, in then uh, up to six to eight weeks like depending upon the type of fracture up to six to eight weeks you should not mobile your joint or bone okay if i am having a fracture of uh, at my this joint shoulder joint i can't go for these movements 
okay i can't go for this mobile mobile movements okay? so bone healing is a natural process okay the whatever things are occurring like your inflammation period healing period remodeling period all these are natural process if fracture is at very young, young age then your healing time will be less if it is in very old age then it take times it take longer time than the younger age okay and you have osteoblast and osteoclast kind of cells osteoblast are your bone cells which uh, you know absorb your old and damaged cells and osteoclasts are cells which give like make your new bone cells okay these are two main kind of cells which help in preventing your fractures and help your uh, making of your new bones now after surgery after 6 to 8 weeks i guess uh, surgery you have to go for physical therapy which is very important like it can restore your muscle strength and mobility of your joint if you are having a fracture tearing the joint then arthritis may occur and inflammation like you will not have a good amount of synovial fluid then you can go for physical therapy where it will help uh, your muscles to gain the strength mobility and uh, uh, one important point is if a, uh, like if you are having a fracture and if you are smoking then it is very bad because if the smoke the person who is smoking will take longer time than the normal person who is having fracture okay so smoking is uh, not good having fractures normally it is not good and uh, coming to preventions you have to take good nutrition and sunlight uh, you need vitamin d to absorb calcium calcium is to make bones okay so you need first you need vitamin d which is uh, coming from sunlight natural source so if you are having good kind of type like amount of vitamin d then you can have a good uh, amount of calcium which is available in your uh, dark green leafy vegetables good source of calcium then you can have cheese milk yogurt and other things if you have any questions and queries about your fractures then you can uh, ask in the comment section like when to start your gym process which you do or uh, weightlifting things after surgery or after normal close type of fractures thank you so much for watching my video please share like comment and subscribe to my channel